Learn and play online. Materials and their properties. Everything around us is made up of some kind of material. There are all different kinds of materials, and that is because they have special properties that are best suited for the purpose of every object. In this video, we are going to look at the properties of wood, glass, plastic, and textiles. Let's start with wood. Wood is a natural kind of material because it comes from trees. We use wood for things such as furniture, toys, and construction of homes and buildings. What other objects can you think of that are also made out of wood? Some other things include kitchen utensils, photo frames, and instruments. These objects are made out of wood because of the properties that wood has to offer. Some properties of wood include strong, long-lasting, durable, which means it can last a long time without becoming damaged, hard, rough, brown, recyclable, and solid. Can you think of any other properties that wood has to offer? Take a look at these objects. What material do you think they are mainly made out of? If you said glass, you are correct. Glass is the predominant material used for these things such as windows, fish bowls, fish tanks, magnifying glasses, jars, hourglasses, shower screens, and baking dishes. Why do you think glass has been used to create objects such as these? Some of the properties that we came up with that make glass suitable for these objects include the following. Glass is transparent, which means it is see-through. It is heat resistant, which means it is not easily melted or burned. Glass is chemical resistant, which means that it is strong enough to resist chemicals. It is easy to clean, hard, shiny, easy to shape, fragile, which means it is easy to break, but it can also be very strong and durable when treated with other chemicals. What other properties of glass can you think of? Let's move on to the next type of material. Have a look at these objects. What material do you think they are mainly made out of? If you said plastic, you'd be correct. Why do you think plastic was the best type of material for these objects? Here are some of the properties that we came up with that make plastic a great material choice for things such as straws, pegs, toys, bags, and bottles. Plastic is easy to shape and color, so it can be molded to suit almost any purpose. Plastic can be lightweight, strong, durable. It can also be transparent, waterproof, shiny, and smooth. One huge downfall to plastic though is that it is not easy to recycle, which means a lot of the plastic that we produce is causing a lot of harm to many animals and the environment. What other properties of plastic can you think of? Now we will explore the last type of material used to make a lot of everyday objects, textiles. Put simply, textiles are different types of cloth or fabric that are woven together to make things such as curtains, towels, clothing, rugs and carpet, backpacks, and even cords and ropes. Some of the properties of textiles which make them suitable for such objects include the following. Textiles can be soft like a cuddly toy or blanket. They can be rough like a pair of jeans or a canvas bag. Textiles like wool or fleece can keep you warm during winter months. But textiles like cotton is breathable which allows air to pass through, helping you to feel cool during warmer weather. Some textiles like towels are absorbent and can soak up water and liquids easily. Other textiles can be stretchy like elastic. Can you think of any other properties of textiles? Thanks for watching! Please remember to subscribe for more videos.